So, the new MUS implementation project is underway and all across the globe people just like you and me are busy trying to figure out how it all works, what the benefits are and perhaps most importantly why. Why are we doing this? Well, one of the primary reasons has to do with a particular phenomenon known as transparency. You know, it's what allows us to look through one thing and see other things. I'll give you an example. This is a wall. Carl, Carl, can you come over here a moment? <coughs> this, this is our good friend Carl. Carl, he works with numbers. He's a numbers guy. <laughs> okay then, Carl. Now, I'm going to write down a number on a piece of paper. I'm then going to place the piece of paper behind the wall and I want you to tell us what number is on the paper. Okay. <clears throat> Are you ready, Carl? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, Carl. Tell us what number is on the paper. I, I can't see the number, James. Well, perhaps you're not trying hard enough. Try one more time. This <clears throat> time, focus all your numbers guy energy on the task. I still cannot see the number, James. Exactly. You can't see the number. And do you know why you can't see the number? Because I can't see through walls. Very good numbers, guy. You can't see through walls. Now, what if I were to replace this wall with a window, a see-through window made of transparent glass? I could see the number. Right again, numbers, guy. <clears throat> now, the window in our little experiment represents MUS. Without transparency, we can't know our numbers. It's just like trying very hard to look through a wall. And as Carl here has shown us, that just doesn't work. <laughs> okay then, Carl. <clears throat> what number am I holding up now? Um, two, and the number on the paper was eight. <clears throat> How could you know that? I can see it right there on the monitor. And stop calling me numbers guy. MUS, it helps you see through walls. <laughs>